Alrighty, hello, welcome to episode one of Naval Draft. Um, I apologize for my voice and also not doing any videos. I know I don't like two people watch these videos anyway, but um, on with the show. Today I've lined up the eight most important of my Naval Draft ships. I apologize for no sound, I cannot deal with that at the moment. If I choose sound in game, I can't record my voice. I have to do dual recordings for that, which I will do as soon as I can get a, well, a better microphone, which I'll be doing shortly. So anyway, starting off, we have my Spirit um, Escort Carrier. Now, it doesn't look like an Escort Carrier. The reason why I call it an Escort Carrier is it's due to its size comparably with like the Phoenix or the um, Sparrowhawk, it, it's basically an escort carrier. It's got five SPDs on it right now, twin elevators, two places for helicopter, and not a lot else. So if you see, it's got the standing Avengers, it's got four below decks, it's currently grinding for more dive bombers, so then we go to the next ship, the Nevada Super Battleship. This is a project that I cancelled. And I now use it as I go whenever I go farming, this is basically just is my meat shield. It can take a lot of damage, but it has no weapons of its own. So kind of useless there. Moving on to the Solaris heavy cruiser. If I was to spend my Three hundred dollars on this game. This would be my missile, missile, missile cruiser. Uh, but seeing as I'm not gonna spend that much money, um, it's just mainly empty. It will remain that way. Um, what's really nice to me, I'll probably put guns on it later. But as of right now, it's just a completely empty ship with twin Yamato engines on it. Last of the line, we got. My stock, Iowa, just gonna launch the plane. Oh, I already launched the planes there. So they, those planes are already trolling around. And they don't do anything really. They're just spotter planes. Um, so back to the Iowa. It's my main like anti-air ship because it doesn't really have a lot of strength when compared to my main ships like. The Solaris or the uh, Nevada, stuff like that. And then starting off with the next line, we have my Arleigh Burke destroyer. Okay, I've stolen the mass from and I replaced the engines on it. I used to use this, but I just stopped using it, which is why it no longer has anything on it. Uh, moving back, we have the eight last tractor Corvette. Just a little side project as I was bored. Um, used to have a lot more engines, like twice the engine power. There is it only gave me like four extra knots of speed. So, if we spool this up, we can see it is I think about like fifty something knots. I've heard about people giving that ships like my Phoenix class, which I'll show you next. Um, they did those to like sixty plus. I have no idea how they do that. Uh, maybe, who knows, someone will be nice enough to show me, but I doubt it, so. Until then, this is my speedy ship, possibly, um, anti-submarine warfare, a, yeah, ASW, my ASW ship, due to its maneuverability, as I crash into a ship, just why not. There we go. So I guess it could also be used as a touch if I wanted to, like for RP, which I'm not going to ever do. Anyway, moving on to my Phoenix ship. This is my capital ship. It's got basically, mm, what, that's like almost, almost three Iowa class battleships in terms of the guns. They're the same guns. What are the same guns? Um, but it has... Phalanx systems on it. It's got anti-air on that 
large superstructure in the back. Twin um, diesel engines. Six V22s, two SH60s. Um, a bunch of SBDs. Not a ton of them. That it's not full. Says I'm not going to spend that much time on it. Three F14s, two F35s, one two. Let's see, one two three four five six seven. That's forty-seven Bs. Um, as I said before, the two SH60s and the V22s. In case you don't know already, oh, I'll them the E2C. In case you don't know already, V22s and SH60s do not land, like ever. Come on, there we go. My other plan is to launch. So, um, go to my F14s. These, once they've engaged their targets and killed everything, they will. Why are you. Um. Twitchiness. See, the other ones are twitchy. Nope, he's not twitchy. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying, uh, these basically have the ability to land once they've done their damage, which is useful. So these are my fighters. I have. A couple of F-18s as well, somewhere. I know I do. The yeah, F-18Es, there we go. I have an F-2, which I don't really put on anything. I may put it on something else. No, not really matter. So, that's my assault carrier. With tons of AA and whatever. And lastly, we have the Sparrowhawk. My pet project. The Sparrowhawk is basically like my main ship. If if I were to choose one of these ships, it's my absolute favorite, both in looks and capabilities. Um, I'm planning on building the second one of these, so it's not fully loaded out yet. Um, I have more planes to come, as you can see with the list of all these. SBDs and the two SH-60s in the back. It's got three decks, so they land on this area right here, and there's two decks below it, and they take off from the middle deck. So I think that looks really nice. Um, again, two Yamato engines and two SH-60s. It's also got some harpoon missiles on it, some dual failing system. And the Odorella gun. So not too bad. Um, I might put ASW capabilities on this ship, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, that is the current list of ships. I'll be making more and I'll be doing tutorials if that's wanted or anything like that later. Um, but until then, I am just going to take out the Phoenix and go to Fleet Review and kill it. Because why not? That's two waves of bombers. That's one bomber and two anti ship. And now for the, just the Dauntless Dive Bombers. Go over to the Sparrowhawk as well. And this has a slightly higher aircraft launching speed just because of it. Um, also, one of the things I forgot to point out earlier is that the Phoenix has those rear landing or takeoff things, but I use them for landing. Because it makes it so much more efficient. Because they can't land underneath, and they take off from underneath a structure, so it just makes life a lot easier. Um, the Spirit is still awaiting... Um, let's go to the Spirit. Spirit is still awaiting a ton of planes, so it's not going to launch anything, since there's no road out. Um, 
let go of the things again. And now. It says we're turning. But it's not. Yeah, Fleet Murphy's dead. There we go. And victory. <laughs> zero gold, zero experience. Alright, before I leave, um, I'm going to show you guys, um, A, that's my flag right there, and then I have the experience and the shooting accuracy in case you guys were wondering. So, hope you guys enjoyed that video, I will be posting more later, and enjoy!